Okay, so today we are going to learn how to paint our finished products, right? So we have our finished fish. They have been fired, so they are now solid, right? We don't want to tap it too hard because even though they're hard, they will break. They're kind of like china or dishes, right? They're hard, but if you drop them, they will break. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to use a little bit of watercolor and paint them. The reason we're using watercolor is that it absorbs into the clay really nicely. It doesn't give a plastic coat. It's not necessarily permanent permanent, but it's permanent enough for our purposes. And this way you can blend the colors and you have a lot more control. We have things like underglaze that will let you paint on clay but it's hard to use and it's very expensive, whereas this is much easier to use and a lot cheaper, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to get our watercolor set up. So I already went through and added a little bit of water to each one of the palettes. And we just wanna decide what color our fish should be. So here I went with kind of a blue-green scheme and then red for his lips and white for his eyes. So here maybe we'll do a reddish orangish scheme right so you want to have an idea of what you're going to paint beforehand because if you started out with blue and then changed your mind to orange it's going to turn out brown and yucky okay and i'm going to use lots of different colors right if i want orange i'm going to use orange but i'm also going to use some yellow i'm going to mix a little red in there that's going to make it look more interesting and more varied I want the color to be thinned down, right? If I put too much paint on, if I really jam it in there and start layering it on, it's not gonna look as nice as if I use really thin little layers. I can also just paint water on to get it to move around. The clay at this point is really porous. That means it slurps stuff up, right? So it's gonna slurp up the paint and dry that watercolor out much faster than a watercolor would normally dry, right? So I'm kind of painting the fins different, the body kind of modeled. As you're painting, you'll notice that the, the paint will run into the cracks. That's kind of nice, actually. It'll make it look a little bit more interesting, right? More than anything, we want to mix it up and not just have one big, flat, solid color. Think about fish. All those little scales are different colors, they shimmer, and we can kind of replicate that by using lots of different colored paints here. All right, so I keep going. And it'll take just a little while. It's much faster than some things, much faster than adding on with clay, but it still takes a little while to paint the fish. And you wanna do it kind of nicely so that, you know, it looks good at the end. You want a nice product. Keep going here, add some more there. We want to kind of cover all of the terracotta. The terracotta is the orange color. Now I'm making an orange fish, but on this guy you'll see it's okay that it sticks through in a little places here and there, so it shows through to orange a little bit, but you mostly want it covered. If you don't cover it, it won't look finished, right? It'll look like you stopped part way through. So we want to kind of try and finish as much as we can, okay? Then we're going to pick maybe a different color for the mouth, right? Maybe we'll give him some nice red lips so he matches this other guy here. All right. Here I'm putting the paint on a little thicker because I want it to be really intense, really bright red. Okay. I'm going to be kind of careful. It will naturally run places, right? There are little grooves that the water is going to go into. It's watercolors and it, watercolor likes to spread out, so that's okay. We just kind of want to try and contain it as much as we can. I want to think about painting the inside here, so when we look inside, we see red. You can always add a little bit of another color, maybe a little purple to his lips. Yeah, purple looks really good with yellow. Do a little basic color theory there. Pick out some white for his eyes. Get those eyes painted in. And maybe his eye sockets are a different color. Kind of like that purple. Maybe they're a darker purple around the edges there. Ooh, that's very dark. Right? So if we want to, we can always test out colors on some paper to see exactly what they look like before we put them on the fish. Right. Do that for the other side. Right? We can always let it dry and do another coat. 
right? If it's not quite as bright or not quite as uh, solid of a color, we can go back in and add some more. even take a little bit of black put that right in the center right so that's kind of a basic demonstration of how you want to approach painting the fish so you get them so that they look kind of different and varied but finished and colored <laughs>